Hi, welcome to session 8 of the Frappe Developer Training. Uh, this is Usha. Uh, this is a screencast that we did uh, to build an application in Frappe so that it becomes a base for uh, training. Uh, we're building a meeting app. Uh, in this app, we've been able to create a form to record meetings and then we've been able to send emails, invitation emails, uh, hook it to other parts of the application and do a lot more stuff. So, a core part of uh, using apps is the ability to publish your apps and to for publishing uh, Frappe is and the bench uh, framework has been deeply integrated with the uh, git version control system uh, so to start off uh, so to start uh, adding your application to a repository just go, just go to the apps slash meeting folder or whichever is the meeting folder for your app and the way to uh, so first we'll just commit all the files then we'll set up uh, we so we use github to manage um, the hosting for Frappe applications but you can use any git uh, hosting the hosting service to do this so on, in the in github we create a new repository for meeting and we create it as an empty repository once we create this repository, we set uh, the git uh, UR, the git uh, URL as the remote. Uh, we set it as upstream. So once we set that, we can now push the committed app to the master branch in upstream. I welcome to the first thought bubble of this session. Uh, if you are not familiar with version control system git then we recommend that you go to this site try.github.io and just go through the tutorial and learn git. Uh, git can be intimidating to start but it has a lot of really cool features that allow you to merge work with a lot of other users and uh, Frappe uses git for all its uh, app management so hope you learn git. So now we're just pushing the master branch. And we can just refresh this on GitHub to see if this has been updated. So yeah, our code is now on GitHub and we can see the folders and you can directly browse this on Git. So another very important thing of building an application the, um, which is other than making the application is creating a documentation for your application. The reality is that unless you create documentation, nobody is actually going to use your application. And uh, for this, uh, Frappe framework also contains a documentation generator, uh, which is basically built using the, the website uh, system that is there in Frappe. So, in, so if you just uh, search it up on the Frappe documentation, there is actually steps on how you can create documentation. What you really need to do is there is a docs.py file in config uh, folder of your app which you have to configure to add uh, your documentation details. And then uh, there is a bench command that will help you generate uh, files, uh, static files that you can host on any static hosting service. Uh, for our use, we'll probably use GitHub as a stat static hosting service. So inside the bench folder, we create a folder called docs. And for each of the docs, uh, each of the apps, uh, we create a new folder. So, it, so the docs folder basically mirrors the app folder. You can also copy your uh, app from the app folder and then check out a new orphan branch uh, to use. So for this example, we'll use GitHub's uh, uh, static file hosting service uh, and you do this by uh, creating a new branch called GH Pages inside your repo, and GitHub will automatically uh, make make a static website out of that uh, branch. So, um, so basically, we just uh, uh, run the build uh, docs command bench for our site, and then um, and then we'll see uh, and then we'll see that all these pages have been generated. Uh, HTML pages have been generated to uh, for the developer reference and API. So 
so the first thing we did is we we just cleared the current uh, pra, the current files in the ghpages branch because this branch actually has no relation with the main application uh, it's it's uh, you you have to clean the branch before you start so you just give uh, uh, the name of the app and so we so you need to set a headline so again you have to go to your docs.py file and uh, set up a few properties like headline and other stuff so let us just quickly add those so the other thing is uh, in your books uh, if if the la app license property has not been set, you will have to be set. This has been fixed in the latest version, but for the uh, version of the screencast, this uh, you have to set this manually. So let's uh, set this property and then rebuild the docs, and then the system is going to build your docs again. So the basic docs have been created. Now we can go to the box folder and just start a simple uh, to just uh, see the file. So a few folders have been created. Now we can start a uh, simple HTTP server to see what docs have been created. You also have to pass the hyphen hyphen local folder to make sure that the docs are created for local consumption rather than pushing on a, a permanent uh, site like GitHub. So let's just start a simple HTTP server in Python and see what kind of docs have been created. Go to the port and then uh, port 9000. We can see there is a website created and then there is an image that that is missing the home image. So you so you, we need to create an image called home PNG. So we just take a simple screenshot of the uh, page and then save it as home PNG and add it to the uh, asset slash ing folder of of the documentation box folder. And then we rebuild the docs. So when we refresh, then we will see that the uh, home page has been created. So a basic website has been created and it includes your developer docs and user docs. It includes uh, API reference for all doc types and uh, uh, other API files that we've written. So now what we need to really, uh, do is create uh, the user documentation. So, so for that in a docs folder, uh, we'll create a new folder called user and here we'll add a user documentation. The way to add this is to uh, just add uh, uh, markdown files and image files as you like, markdown files or HTML files. And we'll quickly uh, add a, a simple documentation in this one page. Uh, to show what uh, the, f the features of the app and how to use the app. So like we designed, we designed the basic app to help somebody plan a meeting, prepare agenda, add attendees, send invitation emails to those attendees and we can record minutes. And uh, now let us just quickly take screenshots of all these activities. Uh, Just rename the files so that they start to so that when we add them it will be really easy to identify which file is what and then we copy those files into the into the docs folder so after copying them we just add a new link uh, so all links have to begin with a, a variable uh, docs page url because these files could be hosted locally or on any uh, file hosting service like GitHub.
So after the building your docs, let's check. So we have the page created for uh, the user head. Uh, maybe there is a file name that has not been correctly set. So, so again, a quick rebuild will help us do this. Now the final task is to push this on uh, onto GitHub and uh, then just uh, see the docs on on uh, on a public site so that anybody who uses who wants to use a meeting uh, management system can use this app. So to build for GitHub, you just uh, uh, rebuild your app without the hyphen hyphen local setting without the hyphen hyphen local uh, parameter. Just let us go to frappe.github.io slash meetings and let us see if GitHub has this case. The documentation is now online and we can explore it uh, through the browser. So, in the documentation, it includes all the server side API, all the functions that we created, uh, the API method, and uh, And you can also browse the different models like the meeting and uh, meeting attendee and explore all the properties in the models. So the documentation also has all the models uh, that are created and it can be linked and you can easily browse uh, what fields it has. So that's it for session 8. I uh, hope you'll uh, find it easy to create your own documentation for your apps. And please do when you make uh, apps. In session 9, we'll look at test driven development and uh, more advanced uh, stuff on Frappe. Thanks.